in this worldwide live ministry podcast, Pastor Mark, live on the air, live with Cast Box, and live in the Spreaker Studios, my friends. Amen. We got the church on the feet tonight, my friends. You know, we're all around waiting to get on here, but uh, you know, because we got the interference and the weather and mercy of the internet and all that stuff, friends. That hey, we're back here. I better fire that uh, thunder back up because we are ready, friends. Podcast, my friends, and I'm going into the uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 13, and uh, try to finish that up tonight. But, uh, you know, I got a lot of scriptures. Boy, I have the Holy Spirit been uh, laying a lot of stuff on me, a lot of precious words, uh, you know, and renewing my, my mind and my heart, my my soul, my spirit, my brothers and sisters. Amen and amen. Well, we better get into it. I was uh, been waiting on about an hour to get on and uh, keep getting surges and stuff, and so I'm just praying and binding all that mess up, giving it to God, and uh, we're back on track. We are focused. We're ready to go, my precious friends, and I appreciate you guys so much. A lot to give you, a lot to cover, so we better just get right into it, not even waste any more time, not give the the devil time to even go get coffee, right? We got our coffee, our big book of love, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, uh, what else, all kinds of good stuff here, friends, notes, our Bibles. Did I say Bibles? I mentioned Bibles. I did. I really did. All right, well, we're live, and... uh, Hitting all the channels uh, live right here. Oh, man. Take a deep breath and uh, get ready to have some church, friends. Wait, wait, wait. I know. I've got to get into it. There we go. Bring that out. Bring that out. There we go. And the church is on the feet again. Hallelujah. My precious brothers and sisters. Amen. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. All right, I love those effects. I got more. I'm working on it. I, I got a whole uh, chart thing of uh, effects and stuff, so it's it's pretty cool stuff. Well, we're back at our regular schedule tomorrow, my friends. Uh, I had a lot going on, and, and I wanted to kind of reschedule some things. Uh, hitting Anchor and Tumblr tomorrow, friends. Starting out the day... Uh, in the afternoon, probably after 2.30 or so. Jumping over to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. The ministry page at uh, 4, 4.30, something like that. Uh, oh, we'll see how we are doing on time. Uh, so try to get on there about 4 o'clock until we get our blog talk. Then, then we're jumping uh, and we're adding... Uh, blog talk radio there once we get the upgrades taken care of and so i will be live on the power triple threat blog talk radio facebook live ministry page and our youtube live video uh man i'm looking forward to that but uh four o'clock tomorrow facebook live ministry and uh our youtube channel starting today like i said friends over at anchor and tumblr that's pretty cool stuff and then jumping over to Spreaker and uh, Ustream TV. Amen. And uh, probably closing out uh, Twitter and Periscope Live, friends. Hey, man, that's the rundown of our scheduling. I'm uh, trying to get on here as much as I can and as frequently uh, because I'm not giving the devil any opportunity like I said, to even go get his cup of coffee. It ain't going to happen on my watch. We are all watchmen on the wall, friend. And I'm I'm uh, not going to give it in. Not going to let him do it, friends. Boy, I got a lot to cover. Like I said, we better open up. We better get into it, friends. Thursday night live at World Wildlife Ministries Podcast. 
Patchwork out here live on the air. Spreaker live along with our cast box friends. Pretty cool. Uh, Going to go in, take a look at the book of Hebrews. Also, all the way over to Romans 5, 121 and 2 Timothy uh, 2, 1, 13, friends. Lots to cover. Hope you have your pens and your notebook tablets because... Hey, if I get homework from the Spirit, I'm going to give you some too, friends. Amen. It's all good. We need to be in our Word. We need to be in our Bibles, friends, uh, for sure, because of the, you know, the the attacks of the wicked. And uh, by the way, speaking of that, I'm going to give you the armor of God. So have your Bibles open and ready for Ephesians uh, 6, 10 through 20. I better remember that, man, oh, man. I'd have to step on my own foot. I've been reading that for as long as I can remember. We've got to armor up every day, no matter what. Not get into the flesh. Not get into the five senses. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's just get into it. Let's open up with prayer, shall we, my precious friends? I'm glad to be here and uh, hanging out. I know it's an hour later than I expected, but... You know, like I said, friends, I'm <laughs> I'm in a barn in a studio, brand new studio. Well, it's new to me, but I, I, I'm in a studio, and we're kind of at the mercy of the weather and the Wi-Fi. So I, I just, you know, keep praying, laying hands on the equipment that it just stays where it's supposed to be. And let, get this, let's get this message out, friends. All right. Well, let's, let's do this here, friends, before I get into the armor of God. You know I'm going to, and then I got the shout-out list, of course. Always got to load that up, give that to you, uh, friends. All right, take a deep breath, grab your Bible, grab your coffee, and let's get ready to have some church service tonight, friends. Live at Spreaker, live at CastBox. Hanging out, my friends, hanging out. All right, well, let's just get into it, friends. Amen. Hang on here, I found another scripture. So give me a minute here. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, I got two more scriptures, real quick scriptures that uh, we'll open up in prayer here. And then uh, get into our podcast. Lots to cover. Now, I'm going to try to finish out the wisdom of Solomon. And then we're going to take a break from that. And then I'm going to just give, give you some good messages and you know, talk a little bit about the, you know, about the good Lord here. Amen. Right. All right, friends, let's get going. Let's just kick this off and let's just go, right? We need to get into the Word of God here, friends. All right, Heavenly Father, I just come before you again. As I get a uh, an opportunity once again, to read your word, be in your word, and, and share and preach your word. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this day, for the breath, for just waking up with you on uh, on my mind, God. You know, and, and so many so many out there that just don't even have you on their mind, God. You know, uh, let them come to you, you know, and uh, just... You know, just just find you, God. I know, I, I know you're there, and we know you're there, and you never leave us, don't forsake us. So, God, I thank you uh, for this opportunity, and uh, thank you for the breath, thank you for the life that you've given us. God, I thank you for that. And uh, you know, I always like to uh, lift up my family, my friends, everybody going through trials and tribulations. I want to lift them up right now and give them hope and courage as they read your word, stay in your word. I want to lift them up, God, right now. Build them up. I thank you for that, God. I thank you for the healing uh, that you've already done, God. I thank you for that. Uh, And uh, so I just uh, thank you again and again. As I go into another mission, I go into this podcast and keep doing your work, God. I keep doing your mission. And uh, I'm always appreciative and humbled for this opportunity. 
God, I thank you in your son's precious name. In the blood that he spilled for us, God, I thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Are you ready, friends? Are you ready to have a little church service tonight, late night? Now, I was, you know, that pesky devil was really getting on my nerves. Kept saying, nah, you don't need to do this tonight. Nobody cares. You're not, you know, it's the same old, uh, you know, he started talking again. And I'm like, you know what, devil? Mr. Devil, dude, you're you're like a broken record. You, you never change your tune. You're stuck. Uh, <laughs> and his, I re, just was flashing back. I was remembering uh, something I was told before. He said somebody, he, she said that, uh, hey, how could you be so stupid and still be breathing? I I don't know why it is flashed on that. Uh, it's it's just like devil. How can you be so stupid and still keep breathing? Uh, really, you're gonna keep repeating yourself and keep using those old same angles. You know, you're weak enough. You're not strong. Whatever. Forget it, man. I I got too much work to do. Uh, as we go into 2019 here, we go into the the new uh, the new year. And uh, I got too much messages. I got too much information in me. Too much, uh, this revelation, insight, knowledge, friends. Uh, not to get this word out. Not to get this, 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 this share this out. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I am not letting the defeated foe of the devil, as the devil, of the devil. Def- he's already a defeated foe, friend. He's already been... Uh, paraded around, he's toast, he's done. And he he just keeps using the same tired tricks and the same uh, tired words over and over and over again. And I don't know about you, but I'm sure getting tired, friends, of uh, of his nonsense, because that's all it really is. Um you know, you it takes training, and it, uh, you know, you just got to be renewed, my friends, and uh, just not, not get into the flesh. So, I don't know, friends. I, I I'm, I'm just glad to do this. I, I'm, you know, I'm in a position where I have been blessed uh, with information training. And uh, the scriptures. And so, you know, I, I can't just sit on this gold mine, my friend. And, you know, uh, and we have this. We have this, friends. We have the Bible. That is our life. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate you guys' the support. Uh, really awesome, and I do, uh, you know, this is this is why I keep doing it. I keep doing this because, well, it's the promise that I made God, and, and, and you know, I, what the Holy Spirit said, and, you know, so you can't, uh, can't argue the Spirit, friends. You just, you just can't. I, I can't personally anyway. I can't do it. I, there's no way. I can't just go, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to walk away from it. I, I don't care what you have to say, Spirit. You're, uh, you're wrong. I, I'm right. Nope. It's not how it works. Got to be in the Word, preach the Word, teach the Word, because that's my calling, friends. That's what I do. I can't get away from it no matter what I try. So we better get into the armor of God, my friends. Ephesians six ten through 20, a worldwide live ministry podcast on the air. It's Spreaker and Cast Box. Pastor Rick Rally here live. Hanging out Thursday night, church service. Can I get a amen? Can I get a witness, brothers and sisters? Well, we better we better open up our Bibles, friends. Do you have them? I'll wait. I got fresh coffee, hot off the griddle, and I'm ready to go, fired up, and uh, you know, like I said, we're ready, friends. So, go to Ephesians six ten through twenty, grab them, get them, and if you don't got one, let me know. Email me. I will try to get you one out, friends. I'll connect you up with somebody that's got one. Or we can get you one. We'll get you one, you know. 
All right. Fresh brewed coffee with the fresh anointed word from the Spirit, my friends. Let's open up with the Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 again. The whole armor of God, not just parts, pieces, or or uh, kits. It's the whole thing, friends. We need the whole precious armor of God. So let's get into it, my friends. Amen. All right, finally, my brethren and my sisters, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Now watch this, friends. This is the, I love this part. Well, all, all of it, but this verse uh, 12, for our struggle, our fight, our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you've done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, We must have that. Adjusted my mic. I think I finally got it in the sweet spot. I'm looking at it, and it seems to be holding up pretty good. All right, let's get over to the 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 uh, armor god here, friends. Uh, And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm. Then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can uh, extinguish all the flaming arrows of the fiery darts of the evil one. Uh, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which we know, my precious friends, is the word of God in the Bible. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and be sober. Always keep on praying for all the Lord's people and pray also for me that whenever I speak uh, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. All right, let me go to a quick scripture here. Where did it go? All right, I want to make sure I wrote that down. Hang on, writing notes. All right. So don't forget, friends, got a lot to give you. And um, yeah, kicking off tomorrow at a regular schedule. Stand by. All right. Hang on here, friends. I got to write something down real quick. Um, so we'll have to, I got another scripture. Anyway, that's what I was doing. I was writing down another scripture, uh, because as it says in first Peter five, eight, nine friends, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Amen. I wanted to get that. Make sure I had that. I I did. I really wanted to double check and uh, make sure that I had that set up. Now, tomorrow we start a regular podcast messages over at Anchor. Pulling down the strongholds. I'm going to go back over that message again. Yeah, and I've got another one uh, that I've kind of briefly been given little pieces away from it. It's pretty good stuff. So stay tuned, stand by, and be ready, friends. All right, what do we got on the menu? Well, I better go here. I got this, friends. Uh, go ahead, go to your Bibles. Make sure you got your Bibles out. Before we get into the main message tonight, uh, go ahead and go into Hebrews chapter 12. Tonight, friends, we're gonna we're gonna open up with a little bit different uh, format here. I don't know. I've been trying. I've been praying on it. Uh, not really sure, you know, how to really structure these. 
podcast, but, uh, you know, um, I just do what the Spirit gives me, right? So uh, hopefully you guys get it. And, and I'm I'm glad for, like I said, I'm really happy with the, the support and I uh, appreciate you guys uh, with all that support. That's really awesome. But I just never know. Really, I did not have any idea how to really do these podcasts. I was just being obedient. God said, you're going to go preach and read the Bible. Huh, really? You really think I'm going to do that? Well, guess what? Almost four years later, we are going on our fourth year here at uh, the ministry page. And, and as the Spirit was telling me, you're going to go read the Bible? I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, friends, you know how that works. You, you argue with the Spirit. You argue with God. It's not going to turn out good. Well, it, it is. I guess for me, it turned out blessed. I was blessed to be able to do these ministries. So, you know, I, I'm like, but, you, you know, you know, the Spirit gives you something. Man, I, I don't even know how to explain that anymore. I just, I'm like just being obedient and just going, hey. All right, not running. You got me. So that's <laughs> that's. I don't know what that was, friends. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of background on, on on the reason why I do these and what I do them for, and and I'm just blessed to do them. So hopefully, uh, you guys get something out of them. You know, I I see the numbers. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, focus on that. I I'm just being obedient to what God told me to do. So, uh, there you go, friends. Just a little, like I said, just a little bit of uh, background information. And uh, you guys can check the testimony out and the uh, information out on the Facebook uh, page at uh, well, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast at Facebook.com. Uh, I'm kind of posting and editing some stuff on there. And we would love to have some help, friends. If you want, uh, go find our Facebook ministry page. Uh, and uh, feel free to post uh, spiritual uh, pictures or information up there. That would be great. Uh, and uh, check out the page, friends. Amen. Well, let's just get into it, friends. Let's, uh, let's get into the message. Lots to cover. Uh, friends, chapter 12 in the book of Hebrews. As I got a bug flying around, I hope it don't land on me because uh, he's not going to like it. So, anyway. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, friends, in the King James Version. Man, I love it. All right, chapter 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. All right, let's get to the next page here. As I got the pulpit ready, standing by. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before, I had to adjust my mic. Uh, that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. It is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Uh, beginning or now, remember the side uh, scriptures here, friends. Very, really good uh, side scriptures. You can uh, kind of look at it again. Uh, so this one's going to be in Psalms eleven, or no, it's actually Psalms a hundred and ten. And verse 1. Uh, all right, so let's go to continue down here, friends. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despite not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint with uh, when thou art rebuked of him, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, 
and scourged every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening or chastening, uh, God dealeth you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Deuteronomy 8 and 5. Well, there you go, friends. I love that scripture. I wanted to make sure that I brought that out. Um, all right. Now, let me go over to this one here, friends. Go to your Bibles. Go to Romans 5, 1, 21, my friends. We're going we're gonna to hit that up real quick here, too. Uh, amen. So, you... You got it, friends. Go ahead, and I'll give you a few minutes here to to grab your scripture here as we go into Romans uh, 5. Let's see where I can find this at. So let's go back to our book of Romans. Amen. And let's take a look here, friends. All right, 17. Uh, okay, so we are at Romans 5, 121, friends. Do you got it? Do you got it, my brothers and sisters? Having a little bit of church service tonight, friends. Amen, I love it. All right, there we go. In the Bible. All right, friends. I. Uh, Chapter 5 and 1 through 21 here. Now, again, I'm coming out of the King James Version. Got the pulpit up, ready to go again here, friends. All right. Chapter 5, my brothers and sisters here. Therefore, being justified by faith, friends, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in, in hope of the glory of God. In Hebrews 3, 6. Hang on, I lost my note. Uh, again, I lost my notepad. Here, my, note, my little notes, but... Amen. All right, give me a second here, friends. I lost my, I lost my place here. All right, just give me a second here, my friends. All right. So, let me go back over verse 3, all 2 here. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God in Hebrews 3, 6. Verse 3, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Side scripture, Matthew 5, 11. And patience, experience, and experience hope. James 1, 12. And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. By the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Uh, for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Uh, Romans 4.25 For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love towards us uh, in that while we were yet sinners. Christ died died for us my friends amen for that much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son on the cross for us friends he paid that price for us uh more Uh, Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Amen. In John 5, 26. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, 
as by one man sinned into the or sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned, after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. 1 Corinthians 15.21 But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to con uh, condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Amen, my friends. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, as we walk in newness of life here, uh, even so by the righteous of one, uh, the free gift came upon all men into justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where, now I love this part. You guys know this. This is part of uh, our memory verses. Uh, amen. And, uh, you know, write this down, friends. If you get a chance, write this part down. Write the scripture down here. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Also in Luke 7.47 that as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace uh, reign through righteousness unto eternal life uh, by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That, that has to be one of my favorite verses uh, or chapters. Uh, and that's why I wanted to give you the whole thing, not part of it, just the, all of it, the whole the whole thing. So, as I I'm looking here, friends, I gotta I gotta just jump into this real fast before the next uh, the next uh, scripture I give you, chapter six. Let's take a look at that. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Romans 3, 8. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Romans six eleven. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into, the, into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That, like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. 1 Peter 4, 1. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. 2 Timothy 2, 11. 
knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Luke twenty thirty eight. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of righteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Am I speaking to the church tonight, friends? I should get excited about this, friends. You should get excited about these words. I, I know we're, I'm speaking to somebody. I, somebody out there. I know you guys are getting. Somebody's getting this. Amen. I sure do. <laughs> I sure get it. Uh, for sin shall not have dominion over you. But ye are not under the law, my friends, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Amen. 1 Corinthians 9 and 21. I didn't expect to go into 6, but it made sense to follow through as I've read 5. It makes sense to go through the next book here, the next scripture. Uh, amen. And it's so important, friends. This message is so important. Before I get into the wisdom of Solomon here, know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Uh, but God be thanked. And that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have uh, obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Uh, John eight thirty two and First Peter two sixteen uh, and verse nineteen. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanliness and to, inqu- uh, to iniquity, unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. John eight thirty four. What fruit had ye then in those? Things whereof ye are now ashamed. Man. Um, For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness in the end of everlasting life. Or end everlasting life in John 8.32. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I love that book. I love that scripture, sir. So before we get too far off here, friends, I just wanted to open up and give you that. Amen. All right. Uh, Dropping things and... Take a deep breath here, friends. Let's get going. Well, I'm glad that I got a chance to open up in a couple of those scriptures. Uh, I really, really wanted to get into that. Uh, That just spoke volumes to me. Uh, Having a little conversation with the Lord, and he, uh, He showed me those scriptures, and I needed to share those. Gotta be obedient, friends. Let's get into our shout out list, friends, shall we? Hey, hit us up, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast at gmail.com. Our official email for the ministry here. 
Hey, we got some friends on the list, friends. And if you'd like to make the list, go ahead and hit us up. Let me know what's going on, and uh, I'll put you on the list here. Oh, my precious friends and family at Facebook and Twitter, and of course the podcast channels all over the world. Uh, adding new, coming new friends very soon to Pandora podcast channel, friends. I'm excited about that. Uh, just waiting on the confirmation, friends. Amen. All right. Mark, Brother Mark over at the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses Group. Appreciate you guys, and I appreciate the support there, uh, allowing me and letting me uh, post the podcast uh, on that awesome channel. So, Brother Mark, appreciate that so much. That is so cool. Uh, and uh, my sister Sophie at my CBN. You guys have heard me talk about her all the time on the podcast. Uh, I have been ministering and sharing this good news gospel for at least the last past five years or so. Uh, a lot of progress. It's been awesome uh, watching that journey happen. My sisters over at Facebook, you know, all the podcast channels is pretty awesome here. Uh, Miss Christina, Susan, and Laura, you guys are awesome. I appreciate the support. Sharing the messages and sharing the scriptures and stuff and, you know, getting that word out. I appreciate that. Uh, my good friend, my sister uh, over at Facebook and YouTube here, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries. Uh, check it out, friends. She's all, I posted all the all the messages and stuff on my uh, ministry page. You guys can go check that out. Uh, what a powerful message of God that is, friends. Go check it out. Miss Jackie, my friend over at Twitter and Periscope Live, doing the midnight prayer scope Monday through Sunday. Check it out, friends. Prayer warriors. Amen. Pastor Michael Holcomb, my fellow iHeartRadio pastor uh, friend over at Bible Days Ministries. Check that out. Monday through Sunday, live, uh, friends on the air, power, half an hour, friends. That's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, and my good brother, pastor friend, Rodney Francis out in New Zealand, getting ready to bring that message back up, friends. A warning for the church, repentance, a message for the church, friends. And boy, I told you before, uh, when I did those podcasts, I rattled some people. They don't want the truth out, friends. It, you know, the darkness does not like the light. And uh, when you expose that darkness, you expose that truth and get that truth out there, they don't like it. So I'm going to do this message, repentance, a message for the church, Pastor Rodney Francis. Check it out. K1 95 and a half point five ninety five point five out in Ennis, Texas. Pastor J. David Ford and his wife Rose. Power Radio, Internet Radio. They are on iTunes and Spotify. You guys can check that out. Uh, I've been listening to them for years and uh, we're connected over at my CBN channel. It's really awesome. So go check that out. KYFM, K195.5 FM. Uh, Power Radio, Ennis, Texas, friends. Go check it out. Amen. Man, lots to cover. Take a deep breath, friends. Get your Bibles uh, ready to go. Again, we're having another Bible study here. Now, you guys can research this stuff. Um, the Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, man, is it good. Uh, I am blessed to be able to have this Bible. Now, this is uh, right after the Song of Songs. Uh, it, is, uh, it is right before Ecclesiastes. Then it goes into the Song of Songs and then the Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, really interesting. I, I really like this book and I'm glad and grateful that I was able to get it. All right. Well, let me take a look at something here. You know, I always got to research stuff. Uh, so it's listed in the King James Version, my friends. If you go look in the King James, um, it is listed as the Song 
of Solomon. Now, in the Orthodox, it's the wisdom of uh, the wisdom of uh, Solomon here. So, hang on, I'm losing my I'm losing my notes. I don't want to lose my notes. Uh, so, yeah, so check it out, friends. Now I'll be researching. You know I always got to do that, friends. All right, put it on here. So I'm going to be researching the King James Version of the same book that I'm going here in the Wisdom of Solomon. We're going to step into it, friends. Let's get into it. Chapter 12. Verse 12 or 13, actually, I'm going to I'm going to jump there. I'll recap it. And uh, 12 for who will say, what have you done? And All right, well, they're touching up my notes here. For who will say, what have you done? Uh, or who will oppose your judgment? Who will bring a charge against you for destroying the nations you made? Or who will stand before you to plead as an advocate for an un, for unrighteous men? For neither is there any good or God except you, whose care is for all things. So you may show that you do not judge unjustly. Nor can any king or tyrant meet you face to face concerning those you punish. You are righteous in order all things uprightly, and you consider it alien to your power to pass sentence on him who should not be punished. Man. All right, give me a quick second here, friends. You know, I... I'm redoing all my notes and stuff, and I'm kind of kind of going through some stuff again here. So let me get this straightened out. There we go. All right. Uh, for your strength is the origin of right of uh, righteousness, and it causes you who are the Lord of all to spare all. For to him who disbelieves the perfection of your power, you show forth your strength and rebuke the insolence among those who know it but you who gain the mastery by your strength judge with gentleness for you govern us with great forbearance and power is present with you to use when you will it uh, god chasteneth uh, where'd i go here hang on here friends I'm just going to go back over this again. Now, God chastens his children. Though such works you taught your people that the righteous man should love mankind, and you made your children hope by offering them repentance over their sins. All right. Give me a second here, friends. Let me recap. Let me go back up again because I think I skipped this a little bit here. Follow along here, friends. Uh, I'm going to go back up to uh, chapter 12 and about uh, verse 17. Um, I want to recap. Just something caught my attention out of this these two verses and I want to make sure I get them here for to him who disbelieves the perfection of your power you show forth your strength and rebuke the insolence among those who know it but you who gain the mystery by your strength judge with gentleness for you govern us with a great forbearance and power is present with you to use when you will it all right, let's go down to the next one here, friend. God chastens his children. Uh, through such works, you taught your people that the righteous man should love mankind, and you made your children hopeful 
by offering them repentance over their sin. By analogy, nevertheless, there is little reason for complaint against them, for perhaps they go astray while seeking God and wish to find him. For as they live among his works, they examine them closely and are persuaded by what they see, because the things they see are beautiful. However, they are not to be excused. For if they were able to know so much with their ability to investigate the world, how is it possible they did not quickly find the Lord of all these things? But they are miserable, they are miserable, and so are their hopes in dead things. Those who call God's the work of men's hands, gold, silver, and practice of craftsmanship, and the likeness of animals, or a worthless stone of an ancient hand. But also in some carpenter, if some carpenter saws down an easily moved tree and skillfully scrapes away all its bark, he then builds a useful vessel, beautifully made by a skill for the service of the living and uses up the cast off pieces of his trade to prepare his food and be filled. But a cast off piece from among them useful for nothing. That grew up with the tree, crooked and full of knots. He takes and carves with care in his leisure and forms it with intelligent skill and models it in, in the likeness of a man. Or he likens it to be the worthless animal uh, and smears it with bright red paint, making its surface red, covering every blemish in it with paint. Then he makes a room fitting for it, and he puts it on a wall and fastens it with iron nails, that it may not fall. He takes care of it, knowing that it cannot help itself, for it is an image that has need of help. When he prays about his possessions, his marriage, and his children, he is not ashamed to speak to a lifeless thing, and he appeals to a weak thing concerning His health concerning life, he prays to something dead. Concerning uh, aid, he supplicates something ignorant. And concerning a journey, something uh, that cannot take a step. Concerning means of livelihood, profit, and success with his hands. He requests boldly uh, or bodily strength from something powerless with its hands. Uh, now I think friends, we are now I might, I, we got enough time here, friends. I'm going to read 14, uh, because I, I really wanted to get through, uh, the wisdom of Solomon. I, uh, you know, it was given to me by the spirit. So no, you need to go and spend some time in there. Uh, so we'll do, uh, I'll run through 14 and then we'll, we'll pick up tomorrow again, friends. Uh, we'll pick up tomorrow here at chapter 15. Um, I was really hoping to get through this, but, uh, you know, the spirit, every time I try to do things one way, the spirit shifts me over and says, no, you got to go into these other books, uh, which is not surprising. It's, it's just the way the spirit's been working in me. So let's go ahead and jump into 14, my friends. Uh, and then, like I said, I pick it up to schedule tomorrow. Again, I uh, jump into Anchor and Tumblr, and then about 4 o'clock, we'll hit the Facebook Live ministry page with YouTube, and then I uh, take a little brief break in between. I'll jump over to Spreaker and Ustream TV, and then I'll close it out with Twitter and Periscope. Um, I think we can do that. It's doable, friends. Amen. Chapter 14, real quick here. Let me let me go into this, friends. I gotta I wanna do this message here. So bear with me. One more one more book. You guys gotta hear this 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 wisdom of Solomon. It's really, really good. Amen. Chapter 14. Again, someone getting ready for a voyage and about to sail through wild waves cries out loud to a piece of wood, more fragile than a ship that carries him. For it was desire for gain that contrived that boat. 
and wisdom was the craftsman who built it. But your providence, or father, govern its courage, because you have given it a path in the sea and a safe track in the waves, uh, showing that you can save from every danger, and that even with, uh, without skill one may embark upon the sea. For you do not will that the works of your wisdom is be useless. Therefore, men trust their lives even to the smallest piece of wood in passing through the waves on a ship. They are brought safely through uh, for even in the beginning when, uh, when arrogant giants perished. The hope of the world took refuge in a boat and piloted by your hand. It left uh, the world to seed of a family for the wood was blessed through which righteousness comes amen and what was made by human hands self is a curse itself is a curse and so is the fire or so is he who made it uh, okay he because he made it and the perishable thing because it was called a god for equally hateful to God are the ungodly men and his ungodliness. For what was done will be punished along with him who did it. Therefore shall also be a visitation upon the idols of the nations. Because those uh, through the wood was part of God's creation. It was made into an abomination and became a stumbling block for the souls of men. And a trap for the feet of fools. For the invention of idols was the beginning of fornication and the conception of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, nor shall they be forever. Uh, for by the vain glory of mankind they entered the world, and therefore their speedy end has been planned. For a father consumed with ultimately, gr uh, what is it? With untimely grief sorry about that friends i had you know i have notes all over this place and it just got right in the corner i wrote it on the side of it i'm gonna have to fix that so it's untimely grief uh when his child was soon taken away from him made an image of the once dead human being now i know this is a little bit morbid but this is in the bible friends you got I, this is the way i was given this message to go ahead and read this here uh, and honored him now as a god, and handed down those to those under him secret mysteries and initiations, when the ungodly custom, strengthened by time, was kept as a law. And at the command of tyrants, carved images were worshipped. Uh, when men could not honor a tyrant before his face, because he lived far away. They imagined his face from a distance and made a visible image of the honored king. That by their zeal, they might flatter the one absent as though present. Then the ambition of the craftsmen encouraged those who did not know the king to increase their worship. For wishing perhaps to please the one who ruled over him, he skillfully, skillfully forced the likeness into a a more beautiful form and the multitude attracted by popularity of his work now considering him as an object of worship uh, whom a short time before they honored as a man but this became a trap for their life because men in bondage either to calamity or to a kingly power conferred on stones and would a name not shared with another. Now, idolatry, we're going to close this out here. Idolatry brings evil. Furthermore, it was not enough for them to be deceived about the knowledge of God, and they live in a great conflict of ignorance, and they call such evil peace. For they either hold child-murdering rites of initiation, or celebrate secret mysteries, 
or engage in the frantic revelry of special customs. Uh, moreover, they keep neither life nor marriage is pure, but one either kills another in ambush or one causes another grief when he corrupts his marriage. Uh, everything is mixed together, blood, murder, theft, and treachery, depravity, unfaithfulness, tumult, purity, confusion over what is good, uh, and gratitude, corruption of family, breakup of marriages, disorder, adultery, debauchery, for the worship of idols not be named in the beginning cause and end of every evil. For either they are driven to a frenzy in their celebrations, or prophecy lies, or live unrighteously, or live unrighteously, or readily swear falsely. For since they trust in lifeless idols, they swear with wrong motives and expect to suffer no harm. But justice will catch up with them on two counts, because they thought wrongly about God in their devotion to idols, and by treating holiness with contempt, they swore unjustly in deceit. For it is not the power of making oaths, but the punishment of those who sin that always prosecutes the transgression of the unrighteous. Mercy. Man, my friends, that is some, some really deep uh, now, I, I recommend if you guys have not read The Wisdom of Solomon or as it is listed uh, listed in my uh, or in your King James, uh, the Song of Solomon's friends. Oh, my gosh. That is some deep stuff, friends. I, hey, I don't know why the Spirit gives me the scriptures and the books that he tells me to go into. Uh, like I was looking over at The Wisdom of so uh, Sirach. Man, friends, talk about enlightening and, and waking up. Um, we really need to wake up, friends. We really need to just wake up and read our Bibles. Um, I know it's it's a daunting task, uh, but that's, like I said, this is what I prayed for. This is what I asked for, and it's how I was, based, it was, how I was taught, friends. Uh, I've been at this about 17 years now. But more so in the last six. And then an extreme push in the last three. So now I've been podcasting going on our fourth year here. And uh, I'm glad to do it. Uh, as I get more revelation, insight, knowledge and stuff. And I, I get more information. And I grow in the knowledge of God, my friends. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So there you go, friends. Back tomorrow, chapter 15. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon out of the Orthodox Study Bible. On the air, my friends, I, now I might switch this out. I might start, go back to Facebook first and YouTube Live just to kick the day off and then jump into our Anchor and Tumblr channel. So stand by, stay tuned. I don't know. I'm going to pray on this and see where God wants the uh, podcast to start, what time, and uh, where I need to go. That's what I rely on. I, I pray and, and just, hey, hang on to let the, uh, let the Spirit, uh, you know, give me that, uh, give me that uh, knowledge of where I need to go. All right, friends, I'm going to close it out with this. Pray this prayer as I go into the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Like I said, you guys can always get a hold of me, Worldwide Life Ministry Podcast at uh, gmail.com. There we go. All right, the sinner's prayer, friends. Close out with this. I got one. Well, no, I got one scripture left to give you. Hebrews twelve and nine. But we're gonna go into the sinner's prayer here. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God, and I believe you are the Lord, and that God raised you from the dead. Uh, please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean. Come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Thank you for dying or for saving me. Not for dying, but, well, for dying too, but thank you for saving me. 
uh, and for giving me the gift of eternal life in heaven with you. Amen. Let me go into this other part here. Uh, and I confess that I am a sinner and I have prayed for giving all those who have sinned against me. I ask for strength from the Lord to help me follow a path and lead others by the will of God. All right, now let me uh, let me close out with this part here, friends. This is an additional part of the main notes here. Lord, I thank you that you have given us everything we need to stand strong against the enemy of our souls. It is you who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Help me to oppress the plans of the enemy in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh my gosh, friends. I am so grateful, so humbled, and so honored to continue to preach this message to you, to shepherd you through uh, these books and messages. My friends, it's like I said, it's not about me. Uh, it, it's about uh, getting this word out. Uh, so I am grateful, uh, you guys that are here, that have been supporting me. You guys are awesome. I appreciate that so much. I uh, try to get back on these schedules, get back on a on a schedule, my friends, getting this precious word out. Uh, so let me move my coffee out. I don't want to spill my mud, my friends. All right. Well, I'm going to close out and uh, try to get on here tomorrow. And uh, now, like I said, I might switch that around. Um, with Facebook or so, but I don't know. We'll we'll see, friends. Stay tuned to the Facebook page, the ministry page. I'll post it and add it. I'll figure this out. I know God's got a, a way that He wants to do it. He's got a structure and a plan, my friends. Uh, he really does. So I really got to just rely on Him and uh, let Him uh, share and or well, not share, but let Him uh, get this, you know, get the plan out. Right. So I'm going by God's plan. Amen. All right, Hebrews 12, 9, friends. I'm going to close out with this. The life that is in the Father has been imparted to me. I have his life in me. I, and uh, I have been re-fathered. God is my father for my, own, for my very own father. And I am his very own son or daughter in Christ. I have his nature in me. Oh, my friends, you guys have been so awesome. A little over an hour, but that's what it takes. You know, whatever the Spirit gives me and shows me, that's, I have to just be obedient to what, what He's showing me, friends. Now, I'm trying to, you know, get some opinions and some thoughts about structure and stuff, but this is for now, this is the way uh, the Spirit has given me these podcast messages just to be a, a Bible teacher. Uh, and this is what I need to do. So, uh, amen. We got the church, right? The church is standing on its feet and giving God the glory, my friends. And man, oh, oh, I appreciate you guys. All right. Of course, what? Wait a minute, there's the thunder. Out of here, friends. Worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live on the air. Going a little bit over. <laughs> in there again. Go we'll get some coffee, my friends. Stretch out. If you gotta uh, you know, get your notes together, I hope you do. Hope you take notes because uh, you know I always give out uh, lots of podcast notes and scriptures. Um. All right, my friends. I think we're good. Amen. Press the phone. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Right here at Speaker. Back on all the channels. And uh, that's it, friends. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Amen. Here comes the fender. Oh, my. Friends, that's it. Cast box. We'll see you later, friends. Amen. All right, we're what
Live Ministry Podcast. We're out of here, friends. I'll see you later. Spreaker, you've been awesome, and I, I will see you tomorrow, friends. Amen and amen.